All right, so I had mentioned before in a previous video that you're wanting your macros uh, somewhere around 75 fat, 75 percent fat, 20 percent protein, 5 percent carbohydrate. Uh, the reason why, like this, like a ketogenic diet versus like an Atkins diet or a, or just a low carb diet is with a low carb diet, you're actually allowed to eat all the protein that you want. There's there's not you're not trying to you know. Uh, target in, focus on, on having enough fat, you're just staying away from carbs, that's, that's the main thing. Um, but what will happen with, an ex, with excess protein, there, there's a, a, a system, you know, body system called gluconeogenesis. And what that will do is actually, if you're eating excessive protein, then it'll actually break it down and convert it into uh, glucose, which again, that, that's back into burning sugar for, or burning carbs for energy. So what, that's the reason why you do not want to go over like 20%. This is a, a ballpark number, the 75-25 ratio is, is a ballpark. It's a great place to start. Each one, each person is going to be there as an individual. So, you know, you're going to, you probably have to tweak it, you know, and mess around with it a little bit, but this is a great place to start and it will more than likely work just fine for you. Um, but uh, anyway, and it depends on your goals, what you're trying to accomplish, you know, like with the ep epileptic uh, like diet or whatever, I mean, they may be 80 or 85% fat. But so anyway, what I'm trying to do, what I want to do now is just kind of break down how to kind of figure out where you need to be on your macronutrients, how you can figure this out. So what I did was I went to the Mayo Clinic website. I, I'm not... Uh, affiliated I'm not condoning them it was just the first one that come up as far as a, uh, uh, as a calorie calculator uh, for my my age my height my current body weight and I'm active because I lift weights every day so uh, they're saying that I need about 2650 calories a day and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and use a calorie deficit because I'm trying to just get rid of extra body fat so I'm going to go in with a calorie deficit of 500. That's always been considered a safe um, calorie deficit to lose a pound, a pound and a half to a week or something like that. Like, again, like I said before, I'm not really on, uh, on a mission to lose weight. I'm just uh, wanting um, you know, more lean muscle and less body fat. So that brought my total to 21.5. So we got 2150 cows a day. All right. Now, to figure out your macros, the first thing that you're going to need to do is you divide it because you got 75% body fat or 75% fat is your main goal. Um, and that, so, out of those out of those cal, uh, out of those calories, 1,612.5 is going to be from fat. And then what you'll do, because fat is uh, nine calories per gram, you actually need to divide this by nine, and that's going to give you uh, 179.2 grams of fat per day. That number right there is 75% of my all, overall calorie intake for the day. Same thing with the protein, but now the difference between the fat and, and uh, figuring your protein and carbs is because protein and carbs are both four calories per gram. So what you have to do is like, so 20% of this total, this total number here uh, we come up with uh, 430, so I'll be getting 430 calories from protein, um, but the number as far as grams is still pretty high because it's only four uh, calories per gram. So in that case, we divided it by 20% or 0.20, uh, or times it by 0.20, or divided by 20%, and you're going to come up with uh, 107.5 for protein. So as of right now, per day, to you know, for this to be 20% fat or 75% fat, it's 179.2 grams of fat per day. Uh, for the protein, it's 107.5, and then we'll just head down. And on the carbs, uh, at 5%, that is that's only 107, 107.5 calories. Uh, these are calories, and that's only 107.5 calories. Uh, Per day in carbohydrate, which that's that's low, but if you're eating complex, just green vegetables and stuff like that, it's it's not very hard to um, stay within where you need to. So, and then we'll divide that by four, which comes to 26.8 grams, 
26.8 grams of carbs. All right, so this is what your daily macronutrients would look like. You're looking for 179.2 grams of fat, 107.5 grams of protein, and 26.8 grams of carbs. Don't get don't get too caught up in this. Make sure that you don't you know mess with it so much that you frustrate yourself. But you you can see these gram wise, these are you know fairly close. Just you know 70, a little over 70. Uh, 70 grams difference between your fat and your protein, but the fat, um, because of the nine grams uh, or nine calories per gram, you know, it doesn't take as many grams, but it's also, that's where you're gonna get the satiation in your diet where you're, you feel full. You almost, uh, sometimes when you first go on, you know, to trying the ketogenic diet, you're actually gonna kind of have to make yourself eat or like what I'll do is, is I have, a, you know, a ketogenic, friendly coffee that I drink and I get a lot of my fat in the mornings before I ever even eat anything. Uh, so that definitely helps pump it up and man it just, you know, it, it's going to even out your, uh, the hunger cravings and the different stuff during the day where you got your highs and you got your lows and you know, uh, on a ketogenic diet when you're finally dialed in and you're running on fat it's just kind of like, you feel the same at 6 in the morning as you do at 6 in the evening. I mean, you know, I've been on it, it'll be I guess two weeks tomorrow or two, two weeks tomorrow or the next day um, and I still kind of have a little bit of a kind of a I won't say crash but I'm still tired in the evenings I work for a living I mean it may not be something I can ever overcome but I definitely feel better in the mornings definitely feel better during the day I don't have food cravings um, virtually at all every now and then but you know you just got to overcome that but every now and then I get you know to where I want a nutty bar or something like that but but generally my, my food cravings are almost just virtually totally gone. Um, and again, once you're started on this and, and you have these numbers, the work is done. You know, you need to track what you're doing. You know, uh, just look on the back of the packages of things. You have these readily available. I'll also come out with videos um, of like the foods that I'm eating, the stuff that has worked for me. And some of the stuff you'll be able to apply, some of it's like just like the coffee. If you're not a coffee drinker, you know, um, it doesn't really help that I add fat to my coffee because you don't drink coffee. So, but you're gonna have to kind of feel around and stuff. But it's worth it, guys. It's definitely worth it to dial in to figure out this diet uh, to see. You know, the health benefits are amazing. There's just so many different health benefits, and we do so much damage to our bodies um, through carbohydrate, through the diet that we become so accustomed to. Um, so anyway, this is just like uh, just a you know quick overview. Uh, how you can go into tracking your macronutrients. The first thing you need are these three numbers. So for me, as a, as a uh, in conclusion, for me uh, to hit that 2,150 calories per day mark, I need 179.2 grams of fat, 107.5 grams of protein, and 26.8 grams of carbs per day. Um, and then that will be within my line. That's with, with the 75 2015. So, so go ahead, first thing before you do anything, just go ahead and, and figure this out. Get your numbers right. If you don't want to use the Mayo Clinic calculator, use some other calculator. I'm not saying this is a good or a bad, it's just a starting point. Uh, your body's going to tell you what you actually need in the long run. So you just need to go out there, get somewhere to start. And then if you're like, oh man, I'm still hungry, or man, this, I can't eat that much food, or whatever, you have to work through it. But the, this is a great starting point. These three numbers are going to be the very most important uh, numbers, you know, to help maintain and track your ketogenic diet. So, uh, but anyway, that's it for this time, guys. Stay strong, and I'll talk to you soon.